go ahead and start talking about the Equinox family line. Why Equinox? There was an unmet need. Vantage got involved with a third party company doing some research about touchscreens and what we could do better and come to find out that as you look at this category all across the board that all of us manufacturers were constantly trying to get that bleeding edge technology in front of the clients, constantly giving them or force feeding them what we felt was the most appropriate screen or touch screen and navigation and menu for them to utilize and we never took the time to actually listen to the client. And so getting involved with this research gave us a lot of information and helped us to discover the, what the unmet need was first off and then gave us a path that we could begin to work on so that we could create something that wasn't focused on just what a bunch of technology geeks wanted but what the client was looking for. And what we learned was first and foremost the dealer does define the magic. Most of these clients were very uh, happy with their uh, programmers and installers and uh, satisfied with most of the things that these clients were able to do. Uh, they had very good relationships with the installers, you the end dealers, and so uh, what they were lacking or what the dealers were lacking was from us, the manufacturer, a better tool to be able to give the client what they wanted. And these are some of the things that they asked for. Keeping it simple, a consistent delivery of the system so that it felt right, whether it was themselves, a guest, a maid, whoever, was not afraid to go up to the touchscreen and actually use it and function it, and it did not feel foreign to them. Um, they also asked for things such as the ability for it to grow with them and for them to be able to play with it and adjust it and tweak it and do some personalization. And so those are some of the things and factors that we took into account as we started to develop and uh, present this Equinox station. Now, here is a picture of all of the Equinox family, but you notice on the far left there is a standard uh, Easy Touch 2 keypad. Why is that with the Equinox? Well, because we learned a lot of things when we revamped and redid the Easy Touch 2 with its trim line 2, and we built upon that, you know, the button press is the same, and so that we've got a consistent look and feel across our current keypads and stations that will be in the homes, as well as the LCD keypads and touch screens that will be going into the houses. So, Let's talk about hardware aesthetics. Now there's a couple of points here. I know there's a lot of bullets, but there's just a couple that I want to talk about. First, this is a zinc alloy frame. This is a metal piece of material that has been hand finished and that looks and feels like a nice solid piece of machinery for these people's homes. It's a craftsman quality product. Now also, the ambient light sensor that is built into these stations, same as the Easy Touch 2 and the RP Touch and some of those other keypads, which allows this station to go into standby mode so it's not a bright flashlight in the middle of the night sitting over there waiting for the client to put a post-it note over it. It has got a standby mode and so with that ambient light sensor, if it's dark in the room, this station can be completely turned off. Um, and then the proximity sensor, another piece that is new and unique to this station. One, as I approach within a very tight range, within four inches, it will wake up that station from a standby mode. Also, I can tie programming to it, set a task to it, so that even with a simple approach of that station, it can turn on the lighting scene that I want it to have do. And so, two very unique features and part of the hardware of this Equinox family. Now, let's get into the Equinox, specifically the 4.0. First off, the user experience with the 4.0 is on the mini widget platform. What's a widget? Well, a widget is a pre-programmed uh, feature that means Vantage has done the programming so that things automatically happen for you. For example, the relaxed scene that you see here on this button is a scene with multiple dimmable lights. Now you build the task just as you normally would where you've got a dim and now 
automatically the widget builds a plus and a minus which allows you to increase or decrease that scene as well as a status indicator which of course gives you a level indication of the scene and so that is what a widget does it automatically builds certain things for you within the design so that you don't have to go through the time and effort of building those things customizing that touchscreen now single layer ui which means that on the front layer, I have a lot of access and control. I don't have to deep dive in like other touch screens in the past where I had to deep dive down into multiple layers. This, I have multiple pages with a simple swipe functionality, just like from the uh, smartphone and tablet industry that we now play with and work with. So let's talk about the four different combinations that are available. First off, I can have scenes only. I can have five buttons or five scenes per page. And then as mentioned, I could swipe to reveal other pages and have up to 15 scenes. Um, I can also, with those scenes, have a header widget, which describes the ability to have uh, weather and temperature and time and a few other things like that. Then I could have scenes in the top three positions and then an audio widget, which is a mini widget down below that gives me zone control of an audio system. And then, of course, I can have a combination with the scenes and audio and then also have the header or the temperature in the header area. So let's first talk about that header mini widget. As I mentioned, you can have temperature, either temperature, just temperature standalone or adjustable temperature. For example, in the kids' bedroom, I don't want them adjusting what the set point is, but I'm displaying the temperature for them. But in another location, I may want to have the adjustable. And with a plus and a minus, I can effectually change what the current temperature is going to be in the room and see what the set point is going to be. Um, I could also display a clock or weather from a weather widget. I also have the ability to just leave it blank. Now notice in the bottom left-hand corner here, you see Premier Partners. This is a key part to having the widget function correctly for you is by using devices that Vantage has already written the drivers as part of the Premier Partner list so that things function very simply and very quickly out of the box for you. Now, let's get to the next portion, the Scenes Mini Widget. Now, as mentioned, I can have the five buttons if I'm just going strictly Scenes, and then I can swipe left and right. Uh, notice I have a page indicator, like on my smartphone, which gives me a trail and tells me I'm on page one, two, or three as I'm swiping back and forth. Um, and then, as described, the plus and minus will automatically be built for me as a raise and lower if I have a dimble loads in that scene. Now, also below on the right hand side you'll see where I can have the three scenes plus the audio. So that means I can have a total of nine scenes plus audio control, a very functional, a very functional audio control. In fact, let's look at that functional audio control. First off, utilizing a device from a Premier Partner or Vantage's 850 for example, you will be able to have zone control of an audio system. And with a swipe, I will be able to source change very simply between uh, the different sources that are available in that zone. Tapping the, the name underneath where it says tuner or iPod dock, it will turn that on. I can affect the volume change. I can also, my transport commands automatically built for me as part of the widget. Um, I can also, uh, for example, if I'm utilizing the Nuvo music port, and I have Pandora, as well as the music on the hard drive. I can cycle between Pandora and the music on the hard drive and then change which playlist I'm listening to, fast forward and things like that. So granted, this is a limited control, still albeit a very large capabilities for such a small price point of this screen, but a limited control so let's get into the next part about full widgets. Now this is the part that really excites me. Don't get me wrong, I think the 4.0 is great and as a, a former dealer I find very many applications where that would come in handy. But the full widget is something that really excites me because as a former dealer I feel like I've never made money on a touchscreen, even when we were able to sell them for several thousands of dollars because of 
all the time and money and effort spent into programming and setting those touchscreens up. And so what we have for you now is an amazing experience that you're going to really be excited about. So let's, we're going to get into, first off, the three levels of navigation about the, on the Equinox uh, 73, the 41, and the app, as well as we'll also talk about profiles and how powerful those will be for you, and then consistency. We'll look at how consistent these screens are from one to the other, and so that the homeowner has a consistent user interface. So let's jump into it first off. You've got three layers of navigation with this. Now the first layer, the dashboard layer, is gonna be that main layer. And then the second layer is your full screen layer where you've got full edit or changes, adjustments. I go into music, for example, and I have full capabilities with my Pandora to create new channels or adjust the channel and see the cover art and, and all those types of things. And we'll get into more detail on that. And then you have the edit mode level, which allows you to make adjustments and configurations. And it also is going to be the location where the client will go and personalize this screen for their specific use. And so we'll get into the details on all of these, but I'm really excited about what all these different layers give you. First off, let's talk about the dashboard layer. Now, what this is, this is a 90-10 rule, that 90% of the time when I approach a location, a touch screen, what is it that I need to do? And that's what we try to discover and work on, on what they would do right at that first layer so they wouldn't even have to do a deep dive in. Now, keep in mind, in the old world with touch screens, what did you have to do? You had to dive in, drill in to get to this or to that or other things. You didn't have a lot of space on that dashboard. Well, now with the new Equinox touchscreen, this is like the tablets that are out there. In fact, we've learned from and used that affordance that people have already with their smartphones and tablets to be able to swipe and move across and be able to see. So this is like you have this huge touchscreen now that's really, really wide and it's got I don't have to dive in. I can just swipe very easily and see all of my different subsystems that I'm going to control. So, in fact, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to jump into a live demonstration with the Equinox app. So let's take a live view look of the new widgets that are available on the new Equinox app and the touch screens and so forth. So here I am demonstrating, first off, the dashboard layer. Well, notice with a simple swipe or drag, I can very easily manipulate to all of the different widgets that I have available. So this is an awesome feature with this. I don't have to deep dive anymore to navigate and get into, uh, try and find my different subsystems. It's all right there on the dashboard. And then the 90-10 rule goes into play. The things that I do most of the time when I approach the touchscreen, adjust one or two of my favorite lights, adjust the thermostat. For example, I can crank it up just a little or bring it down just a little bit. Those are things that you can do right there on the dashboard. Now, once again, I've got full control of in my second layer of that widget. In fact, let's start with weather. Now, why weather? Everybody has weather. Well, that's the point. We're going to show you by diving into weather. This is something that the clients are familiar with because they all have weather apps on their smartphones and their devices. So this helps them feel comfortable knowing that, hey, look, I've got a tab over here that's going to show me, reveal something else, or I can swipe to the other cities. Uh, let's see, I want to add another city. Well, what do you think that the client would do? Well, they're going to naturally tap on that top right-hand corner because they're familiar with seeing that edit stack. So here I have my edit level. Now, within this, I can do several things. First off, I can add. Let's say I want to add another city. Well, first off, I hit the plus and I can either put in the zip code or I can put in the city and state. So let's see, I'm going to be going to Denver soon. So I'm going to put in Denver, Colorado, and it will validate and find that location. Now, I want to reorder these and rearrange them by dragging on the left hand side. I can now move Denver up to the top screen and that is going to be the, the weather location that is going to be on my dashboard layer. So notice after I hit the home button and I navigate it back out to my dashboard, Denver is now my top screen. And now when I dive back in, I can swipe back and forth and find all of my other different cities that I have 
on that system. So now that we've talked about weather, which once again, very simple, people are familiar with it, let's talk about a more complex system like music. Now this is something that people now have been taught because you've showed them weather, now they can understand and start seeing how they're going to manipulate all of the other widgets. So first off, on the dashboard, you know, I wanna kick it on, play the original Pandora station that I had going on very easily, get it going with that. I can hit the next track and bring in the next one from Pandora and I've got that control and that capability. Obviously volume up and down and my thumb ups and downs. Now, what if I wanna get more control? Well, once again, I dive into the widget and I can very simply uh, pick a different uh, Pandora channel. I could select my library and see all the music that I have on my library right from here. And notice also, you've got all of your song lists, your artist lists, your playlists. You can even filter with a uh, fast jump and go to the F songs. And as you can see, this widget is completely done for you and it's very quick and intuitive for the client to use. Now, once again, I select the word. That's not unusual. That is a that is a affordance that clients are already doing with the tablet world. Volume up and down will change those levels. Now, what if I want to get to another source? Well, notice I've got a reveal here where it allows me to swipe over to the next source. Also, it allows me to do a drop down. If I wanted to jump all the way to source four, or let's say I've got 12 sources and I wanted to jump instead of have to swipe between all of those. Very quick, very easily, I can do that and navigate that. So let's talk about editing. What value do I get from editing? Well, I go into the edit tab and notice I can do several things. First off, let's say on this touch screen, I don't want to see or access all of the other zones. I only want to access a few of the zones. I can do that. I can limit them. Let's say I'm in an area where zone two is really the source or the zone that I want to have displayed as the main location. Boom, move it up into the first position. I'm good to go. What about sources? Same thing. What if in the zone two, I listen to really airplay and source two? Well, then I can hide all of the other sources. I could even rearrange and say, I use airplay most of the time. And now I'm on zone two. I'm also having source two and airplay as my only two sources. Doesn't go anywhere else, has that control right there from that location. Now also, if I wanna control another zone, let's say I did wanna go in and control zone one, I can easily press that top speaker button and find the different zones. And if I had all eight of those, there'd be a reveal that I could sweep, swipe across here. Now notice that there's a sync. What happens when I select the sync? Notice that I can turn on those zones and I can also put those in sync with each other. And so I've got that whole house music going on. I also can do the all off within that, uh, from that location. So as you can see, very simple, very intuitive for the people to be able to swipe and use and function with the Equinox app. Now in this training video, I am not going to go through every single one of these widgets, but as you can see right from the get-go, you can understand how you can control and navigate and work with these widgets. Now this is the purpose of coming into class and being able to come get certified and really get to work with the equipment and all the things that are connected up to this uh, Equinox station at this time.